It's a stunning window. Molly Brown House is one of Denver's treasures. This is all part of $1.3 million in restoration work. The original stained glass here at the Molly Brown House Museum. First time it's ever come out. Make sure you don't break anything. A little nerve wracking. This is historic stuff and you have to be extra careful with it. It's definitely a, a treasure trove of history. But it'll be all right. Yeah. We'll get it out one piece. Working around historic finishes, um, delicate surfaces and things like that, we always want to make sure that we have the right protection in place, the right access. Um, the last thing you want to do with a priceless historic window is to move too quickly. Do you have an actual run? Yeah. Can you lift it? Can you lift it? These here are just starting to show signs of wear and tear. Like uh, they're starting to bow at the bottom and some of the solder joints are loose, the bars are loose. So what I'll do is I'll straighten the windows out, put new bars on, re-solder all the broken solder joints, re-cement them, and they'll be in as good a condition as they were when they were put in. I've seen a lot of change here in Denver over, gosh, probably almost 130 years. Lots and lots in Capitol Hill has gone on um, over that time, and even the house itself, you know, has seen transformations inside and out, uh, and now in its wonderful restored state. All this restoration work is about five-year undertaking at this point. We started looking at what were our needs in about 2013. So to come here today in 2018 and actually do the work is very satisfying, but also a little nerve-wracking because, you know, this is original elements of the home. They didn't fight nearly as much as some that we've pulled, so that was good. The bottom part is where the stress comes because all the weight from the window on the top of it is pushing down on it. And you got gravity and vibration and wind and all kinds of things that affect it, plus the temperature variation and all that. And eventually it just gets to where it kind of sags down, kind of like me. <laughs> and I'll make it so it's all A1 condition again. Okay. I've been here over 18 years, so to see the tremendous uh, change we've been able to affect here at the house with growth and visitorship, as well as just being, as Historic Denver, amazing stewards of this lovely home here in Denver. So it's very personally satisfying, and it's been a little bit emotional today, <laughs> crying a little bit as that stained glass came out. It's of the period, the late Victorian, I guess, here. Uh, we were kind of in the middle of, they used to call the architecture and some of the windows late cowboy and Indian because Denver was a, kind of on its own. It was an anachronism as far as architecture. We have every kind of architecture you can think of here. From Frank, Frank Lloyd Wright stuff to Ed Brooke and some of the other ones that designed all these fantastic buildings. Yeah, I got, I got it. Denver really came together and rallied through public and private donations um, and a lot of it also through the state historical fund grant system so we you know all of these great people came together and helped us fund all of these projects to get the house looking like it did when Margaret lived here a hundred years ago and had it not been for historic Denver there wouldn't be any of these buildings anymore they'd just get torn down yeah. Yeah. Got the heavy end. Yeah, we're going to get some